Alright guys, <clears throat> today super excited about this one. Uh, I wanted to do a little unboxing video with these Wood River Plains. Um, like a lot of guys that get into woodworking, um, I focused mainly initially on power tools. Um, you need a miter saw, you need a table saw, you need a router, you need a circular saw, you need a sawzall, you need a drill press, a belt sander, I mean a grinder, I got tons of stuff behind you guys there in the shot. But then you, you reach a certain point and you realize that if you really want to get good, you have to kind of go back to the basics, to the rudimentary of uh, you know what made people do this for such a long time, for you know thousands of years. If there was something wood, they would build out of it. So to me, this is a key point um, to that journey in collecting good quality hand tools. Now, I chose the Wood River because it was designed by woodworkers, you know, like me. And they based it off uh, an old Stanley Sweetheart design. Alright, so let's read off uh, here. We got the Wood River V3 number 5.5 bench hand plane. 2 and 7 eighths inches long, 14 and 15 16 inches wide, has a 2 and 3 eighth inch blade, and weighs slightly over 7 pounds. And I can tell you, man, that's always a good sign when you buy metal, that there's, there's some heft to this uh, plane here. Uh, the 5.5 is generally thought of as an all-purpose plane capable of performing the smoothing task of the smaller plane and the joining task of the larger planes. Features include soles and sides, machine flat and square, lightly finished bubinga handles, and minimal tune-up required before use. So, this was a Father's Day gift for me here, uh, 2017. This is what I asked for for Father's Day, was a plane, and my wife thought I was crazy because I spent as much on this plane as I have on some of my power tools. Uh, so let's get started, you know. Wood River, V3, five and a half. Get the sleeve off here. tell you that feels real nice super comfortable to grip Babinga huh that's a new one on me Babinga but it's it looks really cool awesome grain pattern here um there's a little tab there under the lever cap just to prevent it from checking, scratching, and shipping. And a few adjustment screws on the bottom for the frog. And let's just see here until we can get it to advance. Okay, so they ship it, which I would imagine is standard in some sort of quality planes to where the blade is not protruding at all beyond the sole. So I haven't done anything to this, obviously. You just saw me take that out of the box. So I am going to give it a little wipe because it's got some packing oil on it. So the sole has uh, got a little oil. Man, I'm telling you, it's like a... I wouldn't 
wouldn't say a mirrored finish, but you can tell, man, that that is going to be pretty smooth. I seriously doubt we're going to have to do any flattening on the, the sole of this plane. Sorry, it's uh, South Mississippi in July right now. I was out of town for a little while after Father's Day, so I have not gotten a chance to play with this. Um, but I wanted to save this occasion and put it on the channel for you guys so uh, you could experience what I was experiencing with this Wood River Plane. <coughs> okay, so this is a little project I'm working on, videos coming on that one, but I just want to see if we... too much bite there. Let's back it up in here. sound that ch -ch -ch, and that's just barely catching I need to flatten the top of this anyways okay, I backed it up a little too much Making me wish I had some dog holes in my bench right now. So since I don't have any dog holes, gotta find a way to secure it. See if that holds it. Man, I tell you, that's some, that's some ribbons right there. It's not a real long stroke ribbon. Of course, I'm kind of taking short passes, but and you see what we're getting out of that. Okay, so I do have to correct myself. I'm sorry. The Wood River was not modeled after a Stanley Sweetheart. It was modeled after a Stanley Bedrock. Plane. So, a little asterisk by that. Um, it was developed with the help of Rob Cosman, which is um, a big name in YouTube. If you guys watch a lot of YouTube woodworking videos, he uh, consults with Wood River and Woodcraft to make these planes better. He's got a lot more experience than I do with them, obviously. Now, prior to actually taking the shaving off of this, um, probably should go ahead and tune in the blade, which most people would go ahead and do. But I wanted to, I was just curious to see how it performed 
straight out of the box. And honestly, as compared to my other planes, that's pretty darn good. taking very fine shavings, but it is a little choppy, so I do need to come back, turn up my blade, and put a really nice edge and a bevel on it, but overall, as far as the tooling for something that I have done nothing to, you watch me take it out of that plastic, um, it operates really well. It feels very nice in your hand. And I think overall this is going to be a great starter for me in my hand tool collection. Now I do have a few other planes. I got some really old planes that are kind of beat up. I still need to restore that my grandfather had. One was my grandfather's and one was my great grandfather's. And they're just old Stanleys. But those typically tend to come back and make some really nice planes. So I'm sure we'll have a video on that down the road. Uh, I just got a lot of projects to get done and a lot of other things in the works so all in all and I'm sure you'll see this again in some of my future videos a uh, great starter plane especially for um, guys like myself that are kind of going backwards in woodworking uh, as I said, a lot of people do that. I mean, you, you go out and you're like, man, I have to have a table saw. If I don't have a table saw, a band saw, a skill saw, I, I can't really build, but you can. And invest the time and money when you do it into good hand tools. And they'll last for generations. Obviously, I have some of my great-grandfather's hand tools. So... Hope this was informative for any of you guys out there um, that are thinking about Wood River. I think it's a good option, especially for the price point. You can go substantially higher in quality, also in price, and step up to a Lee Nielsen plane. But the Lee Nielsen, um, the Wood River, and I was looking at a Stanley Sweetheart at the same time. Stanley Sweetheart, right now, um, June of 2017 was right around 159 and the Wood River plane was 199 So, as I said, I kind of lean toward Rob Cosman a little bit because I have watched him quite extensively on YouTube, watched several of his videos. He is a hand tool, hand dovetail cutting master. So, off of his recommendation, I went ahead and gave Woodcraft the shot. Um, he does have some videos out there where he's unboxing brand new Wood River planes. Um, if you'd like to go more in depth with being able to fine tune the tool, check out his channel. And he'll be able to break it all down, take the lever cap off, the chip breaker, the blade, uh, the frog, and go really into the mechanisms that make this plane work as well as it does. Um, at the end of the day, decide for yourself, but for me, I think this is a good choice. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Till then, I'm out.